Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Chrisa Karioti and I'm an artist in Greece. This is the first time that I record a video in the English language and that is because many of my viewers ask me to record a dry clay over decoupage in English with subtitles too. For those who don't speak English, you can go to the settings and change the color of your subtitles and I will try to keep my hands on the higher level of the screen so you will not lose any detail. I will also want to thank you for your beautiful comments and subscribing to my channel. You will see step by step the whole process. I have a napkin, a beautiful Santa. This is a special napkin. It has the front and also the back of the sander. The other half napkin is not here because I used it several years ago to decoupage a bowl with my girl. First of all, we must separate the napkin and remove the two white parts that we don't need. Usually I use a piece of tape, it's the easiest method. The first thing is the napkin, then we will use brushes and a styrofoam ball 5 inches or 12 centimeters. Use any clay you have, this is the air drying lightweight clay that does everybody knows and this is my favorite and dry from Creal is very very soft this is the new package it's the same product now we will need decoupage glue or mud bodge and for gluing your clay use wood glue heavy body gel tacky glue and for heavier pieces, especially on furnitures, montage glue, acrylics, tools to work the clay and any relief paint, contour liner, purple, stickles, whatever you have. I have a piece of metallic glasses and I want 3D glue pen to glue the gold foil and create the arm of the glasses and I will put also a tassel at the bottom. Let me clean this area and I will return. With a finishing paper, a fine one, remove any lines or tiny pieces of a hang from the ball and then with a wet napkin take off the dust. Use a bubble stick to hold it better and then with a wet brush separate the two pieces. These water brushes are perfect for this technique. To wet the napkin and remove any parts that we don't want. Fasten your bowl and now the napkin. As you will see, I will separate it in several parts, but I will keep, and that is my main issue, to keep the face totally flat. You will see why. I'm not cutting this process because I want you to see where I cut the napkin. Use whatever glue you have and I will start with the face. We put a good layer of glue at the ball, the napkin and a layer over the napkin. I will let you see the whole process and how each piece overlays the before. You can imagine that you are gluing this with me. 
After this process, you will see that most of the parts of the napkins don't match to each other. We expect that we have a curve ball and a napkin. But don't worry, with acrylics we can fix all these problems. We can create lines, we can paint the colors, we can create new backgrounds. When it dries, then glue the other napkin on the back. With a piece of a napkin, I take the design of the mistletoe and keep it aside. You will see why. And here we will start with the clay. Take a piece of clay, work it with your hands to make it smooth. Put a layer of glue. And with the tool, take off the sides, all the rest. Wet your finger on water and it's much easier to smooth the surface. Let's create the second aspect of the cup. I will let you enjoy the whole process. It's not necessary to talk all the time. This part is supposed to be from white fur and I must create this texture. I will use an old toothbrush. Use the edge of the brush to create a deeper texture. Now I'm gluing the mustache. Isn't he funny? And with this, it's a very thin knife. I'm creating all the hair. Now the beer with the glue I'm smoothing it. And I'm creating the tiny hairs, especially where the shadow is. With a mixture of Mod Podge and water, cover the whole clay with a thin layer. When it dries, it won't crack. It's a great tip. With a mixture of acrylics, I will try to cover the black line of his glasses, but at the end, I will paint him all over again because I wanted him to be happier and younger. You will see the result. Here he is, bright new again. After he dries, I will use polychromos to make shadows. Here it is the old ball I have made and the new one. I will use Lazur, the embony, with some water to create the shadows. It's a permanent stain and it is perfect. Use it where the shadows must be, under the moustache, between the hairs, under the beard. Now let's take red and paint our cap very carefully. We will fix any problems and I will mix it with green which is the opposite side on the color wheel from the red to create the shadows. I will use my favorite white from Zmünke acrylic. This is totally white, beautiful and create all the light parts with a fine brass and white paint, I will paint some tiny hairs. 
Yesterday night, when I made the Santa with clay, I made also this big bead and I roll it over this Tamperia mold to have some texture. I let them dry overnight and then I started painting them. Do you remember this tiny piece of tissue? I glue it. I glue also the glasses and I put on the little holes some 3D glue and create the arm of the glass. With green liquid pearls I'm creating the leaves. And with some other brad a red one, I'm creating many tiny mistletoe. I use from Staberia, Electro Staberia, the background to be this Rosso Andico. I will need two layers. Now that my glue is dried by sticky, I will put my gold foil over it and create the gold arm. They match perfectly together. For the top, I didn't want to put any bow. That's why I'm gluing only a cup of bead and a red string. For the bottom, I'm gluing the tassel with a big bead I created yesterday. Now, from this one we created many years before, we went to him. Isn't he adorable? And something that I haven't recorded is that on the old ball of Just So, I created the same technique on the back of his head so you can have a 360 view here they are you can see the front and the back too try to create something with clay and decoupage it's a beautiful technique and with this happy face looking at you I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year thank you and see you soon